<laughs> welcome, <laughs> welcome everyone. Are we recording now? Yes. Cool, cool. Right on. <laughs> Let's proper do, do, do a proper start. Welcome to uh, yes. Hello. I will fade after the music. No. Alright. New episode. Yes. A proper episode. This is a pro- What was wrong with the other episodes? We They're recorded all shit. in a shack with a fucking tape recorder. And oh, a goat. That's... <laughs> there was a goat. <laughs> yeah, I'm not allowed back at that farm. Uh, anyway, uh, we're into season two, episode two, and it's yeah. amazing. We've got a studio. Thank you, Mr. Dan Bayless. He's behind the glass. He's waving. If yeah. you see the camera, he's probably on that. Um, yeah, we've got video, we've got sound. We've got Skype. We've got Skype. Yeah, we're going to talk to good. we're going to talk to Kieran later, Kieran Eaton. He's our resident Perth resident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll be on. Right. And, and guest myself. Mr. Tim. Yeah. No, I need an introduction. Dun, 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 I'm dun. not going to introduce myself like a chump. All right. Okay. Hey Tim. <laughs> hey. This is Tim. <laughs> this is Tim. Hey. <laughs> All right. I, um yeah, tell us a bit about yourself, Tim, for the People the people listening. who don't know, yeah. people looking in on, yeah. from the internet. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I guess you want to know that I'm a physicist. Yes. Yeah. So that's what I do. Boring. Move yeah. On. Exactly. No. <laughs> so, um, I work for the Department of Defense, doing things that I can't tell you too much about. Yeah. yeah. Which is cool. Yeah. Um, it is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's like saying I work for the government and fuck, we find out you're fucking on the dole or something. Like <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> I don't pay taxes. <laughs> um, no, the stuff I can tell you about is um, I work on biological warfare agent detection systems. Ooh. Um, the physics behind that, essentially, obviously. Um, and then I'm also doing my PhD um, yep. at RMIT. And there I work on quantum systems, mostly defects in the circuits that will build quantum computers. Um, and they also have a lot to do with superconductivity, which will give us um, basically res- no resistance power transmissions. So mm-hmm. we can save maybe 30% of okay. our power um, as we um, send power across different places. I support that. And we also get hover cars. <laughs> that's time. So it's the 21st century, for fuck's sake. Exactly. So I've got like what? Three years to get that shit done, All right. so that we can have hoverboards. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and three-dimensional sharks coming out of movie cinemas. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's not my part of the future, but the hoverboard. And did you see Shark Night? They did that. Shark Night. Yeah, yeah they made they made it. Yeah. They made they it. made that movie. Was and it's in three D. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so tell yeah. us a bit about Pine Gap. Pine Gap. Yeah, it's a secret research facility in the Northern Territory. Ah, oh, that one. You were talking about that the other yeah. day. You know more about it than what I do. <laughs> I don't know much. It's so secret. Remember how you said you couldn't talk about it? <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> I'll try, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, no, I know next to nothing about Pine Gap. Mm. That's most so, people. Or if I did, I know next to nothing about Pine Gap. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dog working out. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic, man. <laughs> What about you, Morgan? What have you been up to? What have I been up to? Well, uh, one of the most exciting things... My voice is going finny. I never said it. I don't know why. I just started putting out an accent, and now I can't get out. But I seem, seem to be stuck in this voice. You are stuck in that I'm thing. stuck in this voice. No, um, what have I been doing? Uh, I haven't been doing anything, uh, but my brother has. Uh, congratulations to him and his wife, Christine. They are now happily married, yes. and they're in Thailand right now on a honeymoon. Fantastic. Had to get all arrogant about their love. Yeah, I had to get all Sorry, and get the government involved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that's good that's good for them. And while they're over there doing that, I'm looking after their house and my brother's car. Now, for people who know me, um, don't get in a car when Morgan's driving. It's hilarious. Yeah, shut we up. almost died. It's twice. Reversing out of the driveway. <laughs> now that you mention it. <laughs> hey, I can't talk. I just fucking crashed my car. But yeah, um, so I've been having adventures in the car. Um, Emerson, don't listen to any of the next words. <laughs> uh, yeah, trying to navigate Melbourne is uh, difficult at the best of times. Yeah, um, fun. The but, suburbs are all right, but as soon as you get in the city, it's like, I'm going to run over someone deliberately. Yeah, yeah, well, no. <laughs> Accident- <laughs> okay, just testing your there. <laughs> Accidental deliberation, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so driving around, and I get, you know, certain moments where I get a little flustered and that kind of thing, and I freak out. I'm like, oh, what am I doing? Oh, I'll use the uh, sat-nav, my GPS on my phone, on yeah. my magic phone. 
and I get that all sorted out. And normal people, when they drive around with GPS, they've got a little mount to, like, you know, so it's up near eye level. So when you're driving along, you can just look to the yeah. left, and there it is. Don't have that because it's not my car. So I've got it down here on the console down here. So I'm driving along like this. Oh, that just was wants- looking out straight, and I'm like, oh, where have I got to go? <laughs> look down, oh my God. down on my feet, basically. <laughs> right. And then look up again and like, ah! <laughs> Just sticky tape to the fucking steering wheel and then take it off when Anderson comes back. <laughs> <laughs> you can polish that shit out. It's better than crashing his fucking car. I don't know. Actually, I think I might have a um, a little dock that I got for free a in my shed somewhere. Mm. So I'm pretty sure I could give that to you yeah. so you oh, don't destroy yeah, yeah. it. No, I, I support that. I've got, yeah. I've got to the point where I don't actually need the GPS anymore. I just, you just look down at the handbrake when driving. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Just go through the motions and you know, pretend I'm using GPS. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. How, um, how was the wedding? Oh, it was really nice. Um, not a big a wedding in ages. Ah, man, was it depressing? Did you like no, it? No, like, was it depressing? Did I like it? <laughs> <laughs> it was a comma. <laughs> As in, these are options that you can take. Well, uh, I was out the other night and I was talking to a couple that I just met, and I was, hey, I was running short on conversation, and I said, "Oh my." You know, brother got married the other day. Oh, you were talking to a couple? Yeah. Uh, do you know the couple? Or was yeah. Just random? Oh, it was a mutual friend okay. situation. <laughs> I was drunk and talked to a couple. Yeah, yeah. Ran out of things to say. And Went to a wedding. <laughs> ran, yeah, ran out of things to say and said, oh, you know, like, uh, started talking about Emerson's wedding and saying, and then I started saying, you know, I don't really like weddings. I don't like what they stand for and that kind of thing. Yeah. And then um, somebody else said, they just got married two weeks ago. I'm like, oh, it's a bit awkward. <laughs> <laughs> But let me finish, let me finish. And, yeah, it was okay. I've got other stories that are just as exciting. <laughs> so I assume these guys have gone like, you know, that guy, we yeah, need to hang nah. out with him more. Yeah, they certainly have. <laughs> the guy that shits all over our marriage. <laughs> He's a good guy. Uh, no, no, but the wedding the wedding was fantastic. It was, you know, you know how these things can get overblown and, you know, you got 4,000 people. It's like the Olympic Games opening ceremony, that sort of thing. Yeah. This is not like that at all. Nice Good. and low-key. Um, nice, uh, the bit that you do after you get married and you sit around and eat and get drunk. That yeah. was nice too. Um, what else to say? Yeah. There's nothing really. Not much, yeah. Uh, what What mm-hmm. have you been doing? What's been going on with you? Uh, drinking, partying. Actually, I've got a bit of an update. Um, right. Last podcast, um, our guest, Josh, we were talking about farting in relationships. And, you know, when a girl farts, it's... It brings down her level of attractiveness, in, to me anyway. She's just farting. I'm like, I don't want to... I don't like it. Do well, all, are all our conversations... Anyway, no, 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 no. This is the update. Because I want to end the relationship. That <laughs> <we have. laughs> this is the update. Yesterday, yeah. as a joke, the girl that I'm seeing... Liza, well, I thought it was a joke. She's going, I feel a fart coming on. I'm going to fart on you. She knows how I feel about the subject. I'm like, yeah, ha, ha, whatever. Anyway, I'm out having a cigarette. On the balcony, she comes up and presses her bum against me. I thought she was pretending like, oh yeah, doggy style on the balcony. No. But. <laughs> um, turns out it wasn't that bad. So I think I was overreacting the last <laughs> podcast. <laughs> if she squat over my face and let one out, then that's different. But no, that's, that's well, yeah. Considering that the first conversation that I had with her was her discussing the time where one of her friends, or somebody she knew at least, took a dump accidentally on somebody's face on their boyfriend's fart. face yeah so um, it doesn't surprise me that's all I'm saying ah, <laughs> wonderful people <laughs> yeah oh dear. so yeah. what else are we going to talk about today just as a, a, a quick little oh, I, got a, we... I got a few things yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. what are they going to be just so, so if people like know what we're going to talk about now they can just tune out they listen to like, it fuck that yeah don't yeah. want to listen anymore yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, well one thing I was wanting to talk about was um, Puma Punku to yourself Tim really your thoughts about that yeah mm-hmm. So I think I've already sp- <laughs> <What> <laughs> I've already spoken about Gobekli Tepe and places like that. Uh, Machu Picchu. Where are you from? Um, <laughs> the future. <laughs> the past. The past. <laughs> yeah. The future past. Um, but yeah, um, Puma Punku, I was doing a bit of um, reading about it. Um, it's estimated roughly to be about 14,000 years old, but it's hard to carbon it's date. It's difficult to carbon. Yeah, though. exactly. Yeah. That's right. So you, you're carbon dating bits of fire that are essentially yeah. under, under sedimentary areas or something like that. Yeah, or the right. layers of yeah. grit that are on it and shit. Exactly, like that. yeah. So, so it's pretty hard. Um, but what I found interesting is that the 
complexity of the cuts that are in this side. Mm. Um, they're virtually like massive stone Lego blocks, yeah, but it's so. way more intricate than Lego. But the, the different cuts they slot in so they they won't break and, and whatever. This is Puma Punku. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. a yeah. it's a pati- particular place in um, a larger area Istanbul. called Tiwanaku. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So what what do you thought? So because they um, there was it's, a guy recently that he basically measured um, the blocks that were there, um, took a sample of rock where one of the cuts were made, mm-hmm. um, took that into um, basically a um, I don't know, what would you call it? Um, a place where you cut things. Yeah. Um, he cut it with a. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't a know. It's not really a laboratory. Not it's more like a, on you. It's like a workshop slash yeah. laboratory. But um, yeah. <laughs> he um, he got the, the fragment where there was a um, a smooth cut. Because, mm-hmm. And what he did was he on one one corner there was a smooth cut, the original one. On the other corner, he used a laser to cut. Mm-hmm. And then on the other corner, he used um, a diamond tipped saw blade to cut. Yeah. Um, he looked at it under a microscope and he found that the laser cut is rough as shit. Um, but the diamond tipped cut was virtually identical to the the cut that was made, um, the original All right, sure, cut. okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so what they're saying is what they estimate roughly this time to be, um, even copper tools, um, like copper chisels and things like that, that not even, you could not get that level of accuracy exactly. without yeah, exactly. some sort of a nick right. in corners and stuff. And the, the other the other amazing thing is that just we're just talking about corners here. But you're talking you look at the decorations and facades on a lot of these stones. Now all of this is all granite, obviously. Mm. Yeah, so I mean yeah. it's like very very it's hard very stuff. Hard like, it's not sandstone or whatever that can just be carved and mm. like stick. If you want to talk about that sort of stuff, mm. and they have intricate three dimensional sort of um, cut ins that are all square. They're not circular either. So they're full. Bang on square, ninety degree angles, like things measured, like that, yeah. that are that are fantastic. And you look at um, you look at technology these days. You, you're talking about the past three years we've managed to perfect a drill bit that can cut a square. Mm. Before then, we didn't have any square holes. You know, just it, it just, just didn't it happen. just didn't happen yeah. in an easy manner. Mm. Um, and yeah, so they've managed yeah, to accomplish this exactly. And I I was looking at a documentary recently on that with um, a stonemason. And oh. he'd been he'd been working for like thirty forty years in the stone masonry industry, especially um, heavy stuff, so big stuff, not like little intricate things. And he's like, "There's a number of places in Tiwanaku that I have no idea how they were made because I can't cut it, mm. and I have, you know, I have one of yeah. the largest <laughs> stone masonry sort of industries in Access the world, everything, yeah. and some of these things I can't reproduce, so I don't know." Mm. Now there's a there's another there's another thing that I do know about um, the methods of yesteryear, and this is talking about um, th- how they built the walls at uh, Sexy Woman. Yeah. Um, so this is a different place that yes Love that name. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, so this is a different place, and they've got 15 ton blocks there that have basically been just put into a wall, and they are cut to be sized similar to the next rock. Okay, so if the next rock is like a small three-ton thing that's got, you know, jagged bits, then the rock next to it will obviously sort of slot in. And so they, they yes, cut it I've and slide it. it. Yeah, exactly. And, and the, the space from one block to another, you can't even get a razor blade between exactly, the Exactly, yeah. All right. so, so ridiculous. That's right. So they've got to have some method to be able to do this. And the, the very famous block is 15 tons, and it's got somewhere around about 20 or so different uh different sort of surfaces and corners. Now, how they do this, or how they thought they did this, was essentially with standard sort of, you know, Stone Age tools. So you're not looking at any type of massive iron or copper or anything like that. You're just looking at pounding the shit out of this for a long time. Yeah. And so what they what they looked at doing was they were actually, as they pounded one side down uh, to try and get one side flush with the next rock, then that would essentially grind to a chalk, and so you'd be pounding on the one that you, that's already in the wall. Yeah. Then you, let's make it a smaller one rather than the 15 ton one, just a small one. You pick it up, you place it where you want it to be. It doesn't sit right. Okay. You take it out and then in the, um, in the chalk substance that's been grinded down, you'll see your impression of the rock that you want to go on. Right. Yeah. And the stuff that's impressed correctly will obviously um, be where you're, you're sitting right. Yeah. Then you wipe that off and the stuff that's not impressed you start pounding on that part. And so okay. it slowly, yeah, yeah. slowly makes the, the places that are irregular um, 
So you force down to, it to fit, basically. Yeah, you essentially force it you to fit. You carve accordingly to what the next stone That's is. That's right, yeah. And it's then basically can, drawing a, like, tracing it and saying this is where Tracing it, this part here needs to be fixed up, this part doesn't. Yeah. Mm. So that's that that seems to be explaining that. Is it, is it evidence yeah. to prove that that is what they did? It's, uh, it's, it's very, yeah. very difficult to say. I mean, it is quite um, a realistic yeah. hypothesis. Like. That, that part is, yeah, exactly. But that doesn't really explain a lot of Tino and Aku stuff. Mm. Yeah. It, it really doesn't. Especially with oh, with um, just going back to um, Pum Punku, it's yeah. The, the Sorry, you, yeah, Pum Punku is the more correct term. Yes, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, I was just thinking about yeah. the um, the level the above sea level, um, mm-hmm. the height of it. Um, to transport those stones, and there's no there's no forest in that area, so you can't cut down trees. But even if you could cut down logs and try and transport these huge, massively, perfectly cut um, stones, it's uphill. Mm. And these things are fucking huge. Yeah, They're that's massive. Right. And they didn't use wheels up there either. Mm. So, you know, they've got sliding logs and shit like that, but really. Yeah, that's for funny. <laughs> what is the wheel? We don't have that. We have the Fibonacci sequence, but no wheel. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard of a fractal? <laughs> Our wheels <Yeah>. are fractals. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so uh, with the, the more complicated sort of um, areas around there, what are your thoughts on... I have absolutely no idea. Yeah. I really don't. Any theories? No. Um, no, and this is, this is the thing. I have sound. I mean, it, 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 there was a, a theory that um, sound was used to move these things. Because, um, you know, frequency and vibrations, mm-hmm. essentially it's um, um, vibrations going up and down and back and forth. So depending on how you... If, Hypothetically, if you if you can control that, you can essentially move an object, just like you a can bass speaker. Resonate so. something and then basically be a little off resonance, so it's sort of... Yeah, if you put a bit of paper it, on yeah. the ground, you get it the right way, you can lift the paper up in the air for a little bit, or you can actually push it forward. Um, so there is a theory that they use some sort of... They, they found some sort of technology where they got the right sized horns and there were people chanting or some crap. It's a, it's an interesting thing. So if, you, if you're if you looking at that, like, I mean, that's... That's definitely possible because a sound wave is just a pressure wave in, in air. Yeah. Okay. And so if you're using that pressure wave to move an object, that certainly can happen. Mm. Okay. But the amount need, of pressure. You, you, yeah, exactly. You need so much pressure, differ- pressure differential across something very light to allow it to move in that sort of manner. And then when you're talking about a 15 Then when you're talking about a 15 mm. ton rock. To actually get it to not only move, but then move and then, the and then, and then move it the way that you want to, <laughs> is is something that I'm pretty sure would evade us at the moment mm. in terms of our technological capabilities. Yeah. And so, if you're talking about somebody who doesn't have the understanding of even electricity to be able to try and generate that kind of movement, I find it unlikely. Mm. Um, unless like the time some travelers of... are aliens. Yeah, exactly. That's it, that's it. We've got that. We've got that. Super, super smart yeah. dinosaurs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> lizard, yeah. Um, the lizard men or whatever. Yes. What are they called? Reptilians. The reptilians. <laughs> or the greys. No, the greys wouldn't do it. No, the greys. The elderly are just... ridiculous. No. They can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yes. Yeah. So what else has been happening? You got a rabbit? Yes, I yes, got Yes, you got rabbit. a rabbit. Where did you get the rabbit from? I stole it from Andy's girlfriend. Well, how did this? Yeah. How did she acquire this rabbit? What happened? Well, she decided to get a rabbit, and All right. I was what like, was, "Where was okay. the? Where was the planning?" No, I'm not too sure. <laughs> 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 we ended up with a rabbit. Right. Uh, it lasted about a week. The poor thing was living in the city. It had a tiny little hutch. Um, I say hutch. It was more like a box with holes cut in. It was a box. It was, box. Um, it was a box with holes cut yeah. in. Yeah. Um, so it didn't have much. It, area to run around in and even when it did it was running around on concrete it wasn't allowed on the carpet because it might poo away on the carpet so it was kind of unfair on the thing so yeah so yeah. We, we came across with our current rabbit uh, called Ophelia she was fucking was, huge yeah, yeah. Right, well, okay when Tim turned up <laughs> right <laughs> no, no, well, cause, okay the rabbit is like maybe the yeah, it's a, a bit it's bigger than a hand. It's a yeah, a, a handful basically. Yeah, it's, it's only young. Yeah, so they rock up with fucking God, <laughs> Godzilla <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> yeah, and she's just this placid, huge fucking dinosaur. Yeah, and um, and 
Yes. Um, I got distracted for a second. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then so we let out the, the other rabbit to play with it, this huge Godzilla monster. Yeah. And um, it starts trying to rape it. <laughs> yeah. That's what rabbits do. Thing. Have you not heard that, you know, fucking like rabbits? Like, they, yeah, there is a <laughs> grounding for that phrase. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, fucking like rabbits. But, you know, so we're out in the courtyard outside, so we obviously don't want them to run around the place or anything or, you know, get out and then piss off into the countryside. Mm. The I like the fact that he couldn't... Yeah, so. The little rabbit couldn't even wait to get round to her vagina. No, it's just... <laughs> he just I'm holding the thing and it's just like... You know, it was like vibrating. It was rusty. <laughs> it was face-fucking. It, you know, like it, was, it was fucking the ears, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, bit around the neck. Yeah, whichever it could get into. Yeah. At least didn't particularly care. It was just fucking in this general direction. And <laughs> even when you picked up and went, oh, enough of that, you picked it up in the air, it's still, like, thrusting in the air, like, yeah, I'm going to fuck something right now, right now. I've seen you like that out the pub after a couple of drinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those four letterboxes. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine neighbours opening yeah. that mail. Uh, no. So we had to rename it. Oh, uh, what'd you call it? Well, I wanted to name it uh, Robbie Downey as Junior. But like <laughs> Robert Downey Juju. Yeah, Downey is Junior. Downey is Junior. Yeah. Junior. he's got Downey is and Ophelia yeah. has up ears, right? Yeah. So, yeah. but no, that wasn't the correct naming convention as far as um, Pekka was concerned. So, so it's it? called Iago. Iago? Iago. You know, like the parrot from Aladdin. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, you don't miss much. No. <laughs> it was called Sheldon. Yes, it was. Mm. But you didn't want to yell at Sheldon all it's, the a, time. it's a turtle name. She already had one weird <laughs> physicist she needs to yell at. So yes. Yeah. 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 All so, right. But no, he's very happy. Likes to bite things and, you know, put mm. put its face on stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is mine. I've, this never, is mine. I've, never, really, I've never really had a rabbit. So, like, are, are they... They've obviously got a completely different temperament to, say, cats or dogs. Yeah. Um, this one this one here is probably going to fit in quite well because Ophelia thinks that she's either a people or a cat. Right. And is not too sure about which. Um, and this one seems to have a similar temperament. Usually they're fairly skittish and scared, but uh, and they don't particularly like to be picked up or the feet played with. Played they they like usually that. don't like their feet getting touched. Yeah. Uh, and this one here, you can essentially do anything to it, and it'll just be like, eh, yeah, it's fine. I'm just getting fat. It's all right. Are you so, gonna rape it? I think it'll probably rape me first. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'm just so, gonna. We could take a, take a quick, quick break. break. Yep. And we'll be right back. We don't need to say that. We just. Thanks, Dan. Well, we're back. All right. And our fronts. And uh, yeah, that was good. So, yes, the rabbit. Yes. He's good. He's the rabbit. He's doing all right. He's doing all right. He's doing all right. Yeah. Yeah. I miss the little fella. Uh, Let's get Kieran a call. Let's get Kieran a call. Everybody remember Kieran Eaton. He's uh, not been on the show since last year. Uh, he's not mm-hmm. dead. He's in Perth. He's no longer with us. Um, and by that, he's moved out. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, we Skyped him earlier. and You've he was seen in the video. He was in bed, watch. looking a little confused, but, you know. Um, that's fair enough because it's what is it now it's 10 o'clock in the morning over there where he is oh, it's way too early to one I forgot they were in the there's like a time travel difference no. yeah <laughs> time I'm, I'm, I'm a time traveler All right. I'm traveling in the future at yeah. the speed of time I don't believe you <laughs> <laughs> he is he's going through it at one second a second exactly yeah, yeah but yeah. he's not actually reaching the future he's, he, he's reaching am. it I'm traveling to the future at the speed of time I don't like exactly. it exactly no you're doing it as well, Morgan. No. You just don't understand it. I don't, no, I don't want to have this I conversation. I can see you aging right now. <laughs> so, no. Let's get Kieran on. No, my brain. Speaking of Kieran. Uh, yeah, yeah. I wonder how he's doing over there. Well, let's ask him, shall we? <laughs> let's, let's go on through. Right on. I'm going to put this on you because you're in the middle. All right. If you can sit that like that so it sort of goes towards the mic. Yeah. Where's the speaker on this side? These two. All right. And if you turn the video off so that there's... Hey! Better reception. Hello! Hey, uh, we're just going to do a, a quick check. Okay, you can hear us fine? Hello. Yep. Yay. Yep. Awesome. We'll just check with our producer. Dan, can you hear the laptop in the studio? Very lightly. Very lightly. Okay. Um, this is as Morgan, good as it's going to get. Your laptop's as loud as it can go? Yeah. Yeah, and we'll turn this off so we can actually hear him properly. All right. The big circle. All right. Well, do- what we're doing at the moment is we're we're in a studio and we, this is all fun. It's all new for this, us. So we. This seemed like a good idea at the time, um, but yeah. now it seems like it's all falling apart. 
Can you see us? <laughs> can you see us, Kieran? No, I've turned it off so that you can no. actually no, hear him. I don't, I don't need to see you. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh that's good. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> 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 so, how's it all going in Perth? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's all right. Uh, just, yeah, just chilling in bed and... Relaxing. Yeah, yeah just wanking the <laughs> I mean, internet. <laughs> You're skyping and red tubing at the same time. <laughs> don't get those two confused. It's always embarrassing when you skype. Yeah, you your don't want to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't red tube your mum and skype at a porn actress. <laughs> so, how's the comedy going in Perth? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's really good. I even uh, went to Adelaide and did. Um, Supported somebody by uh, dressing up as the Milky Bar kid. And I saw photos of that. Show. The Milky Bar kid from the old ads for Milky Bar. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's what's yeah. he doing? I heard there was a rumor years ago that he went mental and killed people. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, but he dressed up as him. That's me. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, you, <laughs> you dressed up, he as, dressed the up as the Milky Bar kid. Beard. Oh, I thought you yeah, mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So. Um, we did uh, Beatles songs. Uh, Dressed as a Milky like, Bar kid. <laughs> but like, yeah, but like, we added, you know, insect based lyrics in to the, the Beatles songs. <laughs> uh, what did that sounds like a and, weird. And, sounds like a weird show to me. It was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> where was that at? Was that it? Well, like, what location? Uh, it, Adelaide. It was, in, uh, uh, it was in this place called the Crown and Anchor in in in, in Adelaide. Ah. Oh. Like Fringe Festival. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah. It was sweet as yeah. I got to rock out doing um, yeah a bit of stand up material um, and yeah and I played a musical instrument called the fly whistle. The fly whistle. Have you got it with you? Yeah. Have you got it with you now? Oh, uh, no. Good. No, <laughs> we, we, oh, we want to hear that shit. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I, I don't want to know that you've got that thing in bed. <laughs> Basically, it goes, it's like, it's like, it goes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I used to get them little lollipops that did the same uh, thing. It's, it's really, yeah, it's really rad. <laughs> <laughs> Rockstar. Yeah, it was, it was, And roll. Yeah, I, yeah, I was, yeah, full on, <laughs> just sculling beers and, yep, um, yeah, chucking tantrums on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, Andy here is holding up the uh, laptop yeah, hang on. to the microphone. Morgan, can you, ho- can yeah, you hold it for a second? I've got it. My headphones are sliding off. <laughs> He's having so much trouble. My headphones, <laughs> I'm trying to hold them, hold the fucking laptop and fix my headphones. <laughs> All right, we're about to smash up the studio. Uh, no, I can, I can hear you, you guys, perfectly. Excellent. Well, that's good. But, but yeah, I'm, I am feeling a bit self-conscious looking at myself on the. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we turned off the camera so, so we could hear you a bit better. Yeah, I might turn off mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, leave it on. Leave it on. <laughs> Oh, you do what you want. You do what you want. You're your own man. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good that your comedy is working out for you down there, man. You have to come back to Melbourne. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, doing it. Yeah, sort of just easing into it. Um, yeah, uh, you've done a, yeah, a couple of gigs, sort of. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, both going, they're going good. Yeah, um, Doing alright. That's good, man. Yeah, you're getting good laughs, which means my comedy is transcending states, which is good. (laughs) (laughs) You can, yeah, an interstate comedian. 
Hey man, have you got any gigs you want to plug that are coming up? Uh, so if you're, you're in Perth, Western Australia, um, doing um, a gig tomorrow, tomorrow. This won't be up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, think about gigs in like a week's time. Plus. No. <laughs> Any upcoming... Okay. E- oh, just because it'll take a while to get this episode up. And uh, it's also, if people are listening to this in Perth, that might take a while because it's, you know, like... Yeah, you guys really, are... It's really far to drive there. And you guys are in the past anyway, yeah. so... <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it should be fine then to talk about tomorrow. Yeah, that's true. Find me on Facebook. My name's Kieran Eaton. Um, For people listening, it's K-I-E-R-A-N. Eaton. E-A-T-O-N. Yep. 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 Um, we've got uh, almost 900 friends. So You've got more friends than me. I hate you now. <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah, I, yeah, my friend, I don't know. I, I think the people that I say I'm a friend, I just, if I've seen them, yeah, they're my friends. Yeah. <laughs> Kieran, friendly person. Yeah. <laughs> And him as a friend. Get get him past nine hundred. You know, in the street. Yep, he's my friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm getting really tired holding this freaking laptop, man. <laughs> uh, What's the studio like? Is it good? Oh, it's, dude, it's, it's fucking it's awesome. awesome. It's got a red wall. Yeah, lights. There's a box. Blue wall. Microphones. It's a, it's this box, yeah. Oh, we need now some cocaine and some strippers, and we are professional. The, the only problem is when Andy farts, it's like a Dutch oven in here. <laughs> oh, I was farting pretty bad before. Yeah. It was fucking horrible. Bloody awful. Yeah. Looks like a rat caught up my ass and died. You know what we should do? What? We, we, should, we should sign off, because I can't hold this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The laptop's getting a bit heavy, so we might talk to you a bit later, man. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the... Alright, ciao. Okay. Bye bye. Take care, man. Yeah. We'll see Have you fun. Soon. That's what she said. Bye. <laughs> ah, that was Kieran Eaton. Your laptop is pretty fucking heavy. No, you're just not very strong. In oh, yeah, the... you held it for about half the time that I held it, and yeah. you were like, oh, we, we have to stop calling him because my arms are getting tired, so fucking shut up. You know what? What? We don't need this. Yeah, we, do. <laughs> we, don't... we need some context to this. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Okay, yeah, I am tired. You know how you said I was complaining? You're right. I am tired. Oh, yeah, I'm I up. thought it was just your arms. No, it's just my arms. So, <laughs> what else do you, what else do you have? What? Other things on your mind you want to talk about? Oh, look, let me think about it. What have I been doing? Um, Masturbating. Smash, crash. Killing people. No, nah, uh, I've been draw- drawing stupid pictures still. Yeah, you know, every now and again I pick up a little pen and pad. Yep. And draw little characters. Yep. Sometimes they talk to me. Often, you know, it's just me in the room, pen and pad. A, bit, a, a woman's a lot bit, like that. Yeah, it's a bit like. Wait, what? I don't know why she has a pen. No. Or a pad. I don't know either. Our producer's coming in the studio. What's he doing? He's, <laughs> he's, in, here. he's, he's in here. He's clicking things. It's something bad's happening. I don't know what's going on. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, for people listening, <laughs> we're recording this on multiple platforms, but um, one of them is one of them didn't record. Yeah, so much. Well, we'll have to start again then. <laughs> so um, <laughs> what are your no, thoughts well, on that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's push forward, push forward and onwards and outwards and backwards. I got nothing. You know a bit about that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Nah. That's when you laugh. Nah. I don't, you I don't like it. I think you stole it from Popeye. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's more like Does that mean I can't eat spinach anymore? No, it means well, you, you can. Have to, you have to. You just have to spinach. become Popeye. Yeah. You just need an anchor thing. I'll become Popeye. Pipe. Mm. How does he even talk? Pie. Is it like my name's Popeye? No. <laughs> I'm not doing an impression. My name. No. <laughs> I know he did that. Ah, ga, 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 ga. Yes. <laughs> and all I know is ah, ga, 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 ga. Okay. spinach. And that's, that's your research for this week. Find out how Popeye uh, talks. No, nah, it's not going to happen. Come back and do an impression of him. Funny you were talking about art before. Yeah. I'm going to walk away from the mic and get something for a quick second. Okay, is it a picture? Well, you know how... Ah, come back. Okay. People listening. All right. Yeah. So, for people listening, so I've had a few art exhibitions and I do art and blah, 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 but I haven't done it for a very long time. Um, if you want to check it out, you probably already fucking know Andy Maymay. 
Um, M-A-I, M-A-I. There's but, links on the website. Yeah. Now, I haven't done drawing in a fucking long time. And a lot of my stuff's very complicated and um, it's not exactly like some weird childish art. It's very complicated art nouveau-ish sort of shit. Um, so what are you thought, saying? Very you're Alan Gard's art. childish. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. What I'm saying yes, is you'd that, be right. And what I'm saying is that <laughs> my, my stuff is... I, I don't do that sort of stuff. I, whatever. But I've been trying to get back into it recently. So I'm like, oh, you know, I'll get back into doing sophisticated things and... I'll be drawing. Anyway. It's like sophisticated things like smoking a cigarette from the end of a big stick. Yeah. Like that. What's so this? That Handy Morgan, the book. This, okay. is, this is this is what I've been doing because I haven't been able to fucking Can you see that? That's get my mind back into that mindset. Andy's book fucking. of actual events. Okay. Yeah. So Page one. The... Uh, for those listening, there's a picture of a fish. It looks kind of like a uh, dismembered head. Yeah, I will show you. I'll, I'll do it. Thanks. My producer is uh, pointing at the camera saying, show it to the camera. This he's, feels like he's, fucking play school. He's got his this, is, this is play school, isn't it? Look at the pictures, George. <laughs> <laughs> but what I was going to do, look, yeah, you can, see, you can see that. Yeah. You can see that. But for the people who are at home listening and can't see that, it's a picture of a uh, head. It looks a bit like a uh, Medusa um, crossed with a fish. And there's a submarine in the background with a... Uh, a speech bubble saying fag fish and the Medusa head fish is saying gorgeous darling um, the caption yes. down the bottom what's the, what's the caption the underwater super gay monster fish yeah ah yeah so okay. I know I'm getting better though this is what you're doing <laughs> this is a good one uh, <laughs> alright see ya alright here we go people it's uh, God creates the universe God creates the universe is the second one yeah yeah. Um, and it's a naked man with a big nose uh, in, with, space. in space with the word poof in front of his penis. And, and it's in an explosion. It's a bit strange. And what's um, he saying? He's saying, holy shit, this is going to be awesome. Yeah, that's it. All right. No, you've got to see this one too. This is, this well, I haven't is, finished that one. It's a big hairy ball. I, <laughs> I should probably <laughs> clarify that. <laughs> it's a hairball with eyes and feet and hands. <laughs> Although I probably will draw a big hairy ball eventually. Uh, what's this? That's it. Oh, what's this one? Is this a polar bear and snow? Mm. This uh, page is intentionally left blank. Yeah, this is <laughs> so as you can see, I'm uh, having difficulty getting back into the old style. I can do it. No, like, uh, it's a start. It's a start. And that's that's taken how many months? <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, yeah, about three days. Four days. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's hard to get back in that mind. That fish. <laughs> Can't believe you. No, it is, man. I, I understand exactly what you're talking about because I've been. This thing that I'm doing, I'm hoping to do an online comic strip. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. like, I've got the story all written out and I've been designing the characters and that kind of thing. And mm. I've been thinking about, uh, like, the world that it's set in. Um, I've drawn up a rough map of, you know, the world that it exists in. And then I realised I've got to populate this with, like, buildings and shit. I don't know how to draw a building. You can easily get a ruler. It's a box. I've got to, yeah. draw, I've got to draw a staircase. I've, I've specifically written a scene with a staircase in it. I don't know how to draw a staircase. Just do the Picasso nude descending a staircase. Oh, right, just yeah. Just, you just, can be... Yeah. I'll just trace it. Yeah. Yeah. Just be like, no, I'm not <laughs> shit at drawing. It's cubism. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's easy. Uh, but yeah, that'll, that'll be exciting. We'll see how that progresses throughout the year. Slowly but surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you would do it. Yeah. Tim, have you got any secret projects that you've been working on that you're allowed to talk about? Uh, well, yeah, I do have other projects that I'm that I'm doing by myself. Why are the so, bees yeah. disappearing? The bees? Yeah, the bees are disappearing all over the world. They get there for some strange reason over the last this few is, years. This is not a, this is not a project that I'm aware of. No, that's <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> You're not responsible for that. No, I'm not responsible <laughs> okay. for the bees. Uh, right, I thought you might right. know why. It's, no, I haven't heard of that. Yeah, yeah. the the okay. population of bees worldwide has been getting smaller and smaller. Um, in the recent years, it's really weird. They're mm. still trying to figure out, well, from yeah, last I read, they're still trying to figure out why the fuck they're doing it. That's that. bizarre. Mm. No. No idea. No. No. Okay. But back onto our project. Yeah. Nothing yeah. to do so with the octocopter. I have a, no, my octocopter is doing all right, but I haven't done too much with it. Explain that. the octocopter to people. Okay, so who, uh, don't for people who like don't myself. know, the octocopter is a copter with octo amount of rotors. <laughs> <laughs> so eight rotors. Oh. Um, Making yourself a little UFO. Yeah, essentially it is. It flies around, um, does cool stuff. Um, so That's it's cool. it's basically got um, magnetometers, accelerometers, gyroscopes, and stuff like this in it that essentially writes itself automatically. Yeah. 
you can fly it around with a, a little controller like you would a remote control plane. Yeah. But it's really designed to be autonomous, so it flies itself. Um, it's meant for uh, search and rescue operations and things like that. So, how big is this thing? Um, like, I mean, if you put your your arms around wide and then so punch you can your rescue like a dog yeah. or a, a rat. Uh, it's more cat. location and things like that. So, so the idea is that it's going to be able to recognise heat signatures out in the middle of the desert that a person like. So that it can, that's fucking awesome. Yeah. So and and it can do that by itself. That's the that's the idea. But I mean, that's a that's a slow project. Yeah, it takes a long time. That would be pretty intense. Yeah. So at the moment, I'm feeding in some um, some turbulence data from my DSTO work. Uh, we've been able to to look at a, a whole lot of cool stuff about mapping what happens in the atmosphere um, in terms of wind and things like this um, to do with migration of biological particles and stuff. But we can essentially assume that the octocopter is a particle, and um, and then look at wind direction and then adjust the flight path accordingly to wind direction. Right, like that. okay, so, so when you cool. sense something, it, you, it can um, take into account the wind direction and go, okay, well, the smell or whatever, the signature must be coming from this direction and it's being blown by the wind. Uh, so yeah, we'll go travel. Yeah, that's, that's not really what I'm talking about, though. Yeah. Um, like, it, you could do that, but it's more of a reverse application in the sense that if you want to try and keep the thing in one place, how do you keep it sitting there um, when it gets a gust of wind so, and so blows it, it left and right or something. It, it yeah. basically yeah. Um, auto correct, yeah. auto correcting yeah. the the system, and so you can do that by um, like sort of counteractive measures. So you get blown away. The GPS signal will say, "Okay, well you're meant to be here. You're actually two meters left. Come back to that position." You can do that, but so the it, point is, it's that like a wireless anchor. Exactly, yeah. yeah. But I mean, that's not that's not the greatest of things because if you're flying close to things or something like that, you don't want to have to be shifted two meters before you go. Hang on a minute, I'm, I've moved and come back. So you want to be able to sort of predict where you're going, um, and and where the flow of wind is around you. Yeah. And so that's that's something I'm working on with that. Um, but the 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 project that I'm getting into at the moment mm -hmm. is um so that one's a long long term back burner one yeah. project I'm getting into at the moment is um I, f I saw it on the the maker fair last year and I thought it was really really cool and it's a it's a little little funny one um so the idea is you get a Microsoft Xbox Kinect you know one of those game yeah, stations yeah, 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 yeah. which you can stand up and move around and yeah, stuff you, like you're that. reverse engineering it eh? yeah so yeah you, so, fucking so, awesome so you hack one of those to, to get it to do what you want all right for people who don't know what a, the, the connect is it's basically a series of uh, cameras so you plug in your tv plug in your xbox throw the controller out the window and just plug this set of cameras up underneath your tv um, and instead of using uh, it, it's a like controller. a Wii, yeah. It's but like it's a Wii. wireless. Exactly, you, you just yeah. move your hands in the air, and that's you can right. Choose. And it's got a whole lot of you know infrared points, and it just tells yeah. says where you are in, so, in position space. Yeah, we're we're, we're thinking about uh, you know in Minority Report. Yeah, it's like Minority yeah. Report shit. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So that sort of stuff. All right. So we get this. All right, and then you track your arm movement. So say if you've got your arms next to you by your side, yeah. and then you raise them up, and the higher you raise them. Um, then that's going to be able to... That, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so we're looking for the, the, the arm positions. Yeah. Right. Okay. And then you get that, and then that output goes into a signal generator. The signal generator will generate a range of sine waves. Okay, so just tones, all right, so that will raise up... a full-body theremin. <laughs> almost, <laughs> almost, yes. Okay, so you, you raise your... So the, the higher you raise your arm, the higher the frequency of the signal that comes right. out. Okay? Yeah. That feeds into... So, so you've got two channels, one at either, either arm. Yeah. Those two frequencies go into the input of your Tesla coils. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay? So then you can have uh, two Tesla coils in the background, okay? And then you can then you've got a mad scientist generator that plugs into harp, and then you can create earthquakes. Exactly, yeah, you, do that. you do that if you want to. Yeah. So that the idea is that you could be like, you know, behold the power of electricity, <laughs> right? And it's just a mad and scientist you, plug an Xbox yeah, game. And, yeah, exactly. And so as you raise your hands, then the the, the Tesla coils will go off, right? right? And they'll they'll create gener generate larger and larger sparks as you raise your arms up higher. 
That's it. Sounds like it's <laughs> it's the Australian government funding this after watching Frankenstein. <laughs> you know, it's just a, uh, look, the application for that is endless. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, think about well, I did just, I did when just, you're a mad scientist and you want uh, sparks to, you know. It's like, fools, I'll destroy you all! <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah you, you just need a, a little bit of extra, you know, it's the, it's like adding an exclamation point to your That's right. digester. That's right, exactly. And what else can you do with it? Well, I was well. Essentially, nothing. What I was thinking of was so also no practical implications. <laughs> no, no. Impressing someone. Why, why would you want to have practical implications for something that awesome? Why do we do science? And how many because millions awesome. of dollars is the Australian government throwing towards this? The government. Oh, no, this, like, this, this is my money. Oh, your yeah. thing. Oh, I yeah, think yeah. It's like you're working with it at work or something. No, no. no, no. You said projects. It's a project. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 He's not allowed to talk about work. <laughs> wink, wink. That's what he's doing at work. <laughs> exactly. <yeah. laughs> no, no, no. This is my project. Um, and also, like, I mean, I've got my neuro headset. Which I'll probably be, then I can like turn my Tesla coils on with my mind. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So for those who don't know, I have a, a neural headset as well that can control things with my mind. <laughs> and this if I could raise my eyebrow by myself, I would. Do that <laughs> but I can't do that. You so, know they yeah. tried doing that with uh, computer games, like a, a weird helmet. With the- well, that's what I've got. Yeah. So like basically, you can. It's got um, about 17 sensors. You essentially just dip them in saline so that you've got some type of uh, resistive contact. Put it on your head. And then if you wanted to play with it, I can do a eight-second background read for you not thinking. And then if you want to do, like, push or walk forward or something like that, another eight-second reading will get me that information. And it just and then, and then that's out. that. Yeah. So then basically it just looks at, at, at a whole neural net of, um, of your brainwave signals that's and say, yeah. this one here is matched to this, and there's 16 different commands that can So it goes when there's activity in this part of the brain, this is well, a, a no, it's a, to it's a it. It's essentially a weighted reaction to all of the parts of your brain. Yeah. So it's not really reading your mind per se, but it's 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 kind of cool to be able to push That's something or turn it on. Yeah. So you know the general idea was to fly my octocopter with it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, Doing this at the same time as sparks going up. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't wait for that shit. To happen. <laughs> Get my armada off the ground. <laughs> I would love to see that. It's pretty yeah. fucking impressive. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. That is cool. But so. I must say, oh, have you got something else to add? Nope, that, that, that was it. Okay, because <laughs> we, we kind of have to wrap up. We're running out of time here. Are we? Yeah. What time is it? It's uh, one thirty, but we need to... What do we got? Oh, yeah, 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 We need true. to pack up and get out of here. got to pack up in the studio. No, we can keep going. That's uh, producer oh, you want to keep going? All right. Uh, he hey, just cool. said go for it. Go for it. Go for it. All right. Um, well, let's what build it down. I see that. I well, that thing. That see, means it's wrapping up time. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> your hands. Um, while we're on this topic of mm-hmm. um, Tesla coils, I was thinking the other day, why do people love chili and spicy food so much? Because I was, I went to a restaurant this week. Oh, it's got nothing to do. It's <laughs> like the worst thing yeah, I ever made. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I um, went to this Chinese restaurant, and there was like there was maybe fifteen pages in this menu, and there was maybe three dishes that weren't mega spicy, but yeah. even those dishes had chili in them. Yeah. And it was like, I tried duck tongue, you know, like a, a sweet chili sauce, and even that had tears and snot come out of my nose. I'm like, you I'm cry like, at your nose? Mm, I did. Wow. Because mm. I closed my eyes so much, I <laughs> went back into my head. Back into yeah. your sinuses and out the mm. Cool. There's all these people just like... Can you make snot it. come out of your eyes? Do it now. Do it. Do it now. Come on. No. Oh, come on, man. Uh, that's how you... Wait, no, that's what happens when, you know, you wake up and there's all, like, gunk in your eyes. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's what that's happens. Or, or your partner's done a shit in your face. Yeah, that, <laughs> I've never had that happen. <laughs> I'm Yet. proud to have <laughs> But, yeah, um, so, yeah, what's your take? Because I don't understand why. I can understand in countries where the food's going to go off. Um, and Oh, look, once it, you put the chilli in it, it goes right off. Oh, well, you know what I mean. It's no. like the, the food's going a bit bad and it might taste a bit gross. So you need to add spices. Yes. Like that. yes. So places in India and like, also... Yeah. You know, people would come from one country to another and they'd bring meat on the boat. They used to add these things to try and get dis- disguise the flavour. But I don't understand why people enjoy it. It's like, you should try this vegetable. Yeah, what I does it do? It well, do, it makes yeah. your asshole you're, you're explode. Spicy. You're yeah, I'm a spice yeah. guy. Like, oh, yeah, really? yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what, what is it I, that it, I don't like know. I, I don't think that there is any type of rationale behind why I like it. Like, I mean... Do you, I don't does your like face, seafood does your mouth burn because it tastes like crap. I like 
spicy food because I enjoy that. I don't yeah. know. I, I, I like I, I like you know it to be a bit of a challenge when I'm eating. You know, it's, I, I don't want to sit down and have a relaxing meal. I, I want to sweat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then, well, exa- if and, I then, choose... and then twelve hours later, you know, have fire coming out of my arsehole. <laughs> yeah, <asshole>. exactly. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If, if I eat chili soup, by the time I finish the soup, the bowl's still full of the same amount of liquid. It's just come out of my eyeballs <laughs> and forehead. <It's... laughs> like my best friend and I will get we'll, we'll get a nice steak and then we'll just have like about the steak thickness of hot mustard, you know, on the top. Jesus Christ. And then we'll just be like, we'll just sit there together and eat this steak and then we'll die from, <laughs> you know, the sinus pain that, that ensues. And it's great. Yeah. It's fantastic. It's a, and it's I, a... I don't know why. Um, but, I yeah, I just I enjoy it. I've, I've got uh, friends that are, you know, vegan. And a lot of the food that vegans eat... Um, there's a lot of really good stuff, you know. People can make good vegan food when yeah. they when they try, and like it's but it, but it's difficult. But even but it's, but diffi- but it's but difficult to make like give something that doesn't initially have flavor, like tofu. You know, a lot of flavor. And if you add chili to it, you spice it up a bit. Mm-hmm. It, you know, it makes things exciting. Like it, it makes things palatable. And I I think that's you know that's part of it. But if you ever had uh, like actual chilies, like. Yeah, like green chili. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have different flavors. Like they've got mm. the, the spice, yeah. but they've also got a more subtle. Yeah. Well, it's like um, capsicum, red capsicum, and green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Capsicum. Except, yeah, except with spice. Deal. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And once you know, if you can get through, you know, the painful part, like that, that really adds flavor. That you know, vegan food doesn't need that because it's already painful. <laughs> No, I think that like when you're a vegan, <laughs> life is painful. It's just how it is. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not uh, a big fan of hey, it. Hey, wait, there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, no. What else have you been doing? Eating thinking about food. things? I haven't been thinking about anything. Like, seriously, the last, uh, I don't know, week and a half has been, my life's been put on hold because this wedding thing has yeah. happened and mm-hmm. I've had family. And t- I've had to deal with family. Like, my dad's come down to visit and that sort of thing and yeah. cousins and um, extended family and all that sort of thing. It's, it's, a, it's a weird experience. And I've agreed to go on a cruise yeah, what the f- <laughs> Okay, um, Chris. At the end of August, because uh, my cousin and I, we share um, a month for birthdays, and we're, we're born two weeks apart, so we're, we're like brother and sister, that sort of thing. Do you, do you find her attractive? I find everyone attractive. No, do you especially, find sexually attractive? Especially Is that you. why you're going on a cruise? Yes, yeah, so that's why I'm going on a cruise with my cousin. Because you share in the same room? I haven't been to Tasmania, though, like with her, but I will. No, oh, I, to live up to the reputation. Yeah, to live up to the reputation, yeah. Mm-hmm. Good work. Anyway, continue. Well, no, just You're you continue. No, you <laughs> do you reckon? She, do you reckon she tastes sweet or sour? You know what? Vagina? This is a wonderful conversation. <laughs> no, I'm just around. asking. You know what? It's a question. <laughs> you should call her up now. And yeah. Ask. Well, look. If you do, you reckon? Do you reckon she has small do you reckon your brother's? Do you reckon your brother's bum? You know, it's like. Pinkish or more brown? Oh, more brown, definitely. More brown, yeah. yeah and there'd okay. be a bit of hair around there. Yeah, a bit, well. bit of hair around there. There'd be yeah. that little orange fuzzy stuff. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are talking about you. I want to talk about it. So anyway, back to... So you're going on a gay yeah, cruise. Yeah, so going on a gay cruise with my cups of... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not one of those people that goes out on... Like, does these sort of things. It's like... I, you know Contiki cruises and that sort yeah, of thing yeah, like yeah. I, I'm, I'm envisioning it to be something like that it's like five days out to the islands Fiji and that sort of thing so it's a big five star wanky boat yeah yeah it's 20 a, pools on it although yeah. you're out in the middle of the ocean and all elderly people yeah. and all elderly people or you know young people who playing shuffleboard and bridge yeah, yeah. And I, it's going to be an experience and that's the only reason I'm going oh, yeah. God. Like, if jump off the boat yeah, I probably will have to but you know take it as it comes oh well, good on you for doing it yeah so when's this happening? Uh, late August. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, what about you? You got any? You got any plans? You, well, you were planning to go anywhere? to China for a while, then. Eh? Oh, I will see. Yeah, maybe next year I might go to Shanghai for a, a few weeks, which would be interesting. Speaking of Shanghai and uh, all things Asian, I was turned on the TV this morning. I got up quite early, which is yeah. unusual. Turned on the telly and put on SBS one or two, one of them. Yeah. And they had uh, this great show. Like usually, you get up at this time of the morning and this video hits. Yeah. Video hits I don't think happens anymore, but SBS has stepped up to the bat and they've got Pop Asia, and it's just Asian pop music. It's like you know Chinese and Japanese and Korean, Korean and that sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. Um, it's all fucking terrible, but it's hilarious as well. And I recommend anybody who has got the time and the effort to you know wake up wake up at Sunday that morning. time in the morning on a Sunday morning. Check out. 
Pop Asia on SBS. Or come to um, Melbourne International Backpackers, aka Fluid Oils, on Tuesday for Comedy Night. That's that's probably a better one if you've got you know one, if you want to do something and you've got the option to do the Pop Asia thing or go to the Backpackers. Go to the Backpackers. Yeah. Yeah, Tuesday night, The Backpackers. Wednesday night, Death Star Canteen at Kaz's Ray Tops on Smith Street. I recommend that. Yep. Um, but can, you're talking about the pop stuff. <coughs> mm. After comedy at um, Fluid Oz, they've got... It's called Comedy Oki. That's... And it's, it's like... Why is it? Why is comedy added in there? It's just karaoke, know, isn't it? It's some like It's just karaoke. But anyway, um, I, last time I got up and did it, when I was fucking drunk out of my head, mm. um, me and a mate, we chose um, Enter Sandman. I remember mm-hmm. that. Yes. Now... So they've got the, the the track going and blah blah. And we're both drunk and my mate's getting into it. But the t- the little TV that has the lyrics that come across the screen, mm. that's fine. They've got the lyrics, but the background image is a woman, an Asian woman skipping along, smelling the flowers, dancing <laughs> on the beach. Just the like, standard yeah. Yeah. yeah, made no fans. <laughs> so I'm like, they don't correlate. What the fuck is going on? It didn't help that I was drunk. Nah. It was like the most real thing in the world. Uh, Mr. Tim, is there anything that you would like to plug? <coughs> anything you, you would like people to see or visit? Anything that you're involved with that you uh, want I'm a to shut in. Them? I'm a shut in, so I don't do much. Right. Okay, yeah, everybody, exactly. party at Tim's house on Saturday. That's right. Hell yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So it's um, our producer's come. doing something. I think right. our, our, our camera has uh, ran out. I think we're, and so we're dead over there. To... But that's okay. I think we should. Did just... you, you plug your camera in, or did it run out? No, of... no, we run out of. Um, is it still going? There's it's only a recording. finite amount of tape. It doesn't have infinite tape yeah. capability. Uh, yeah, okay. don't, worry about about it. don't worry about that's it. That's fine. Yeah. Um, well, ah. seeing as the tape's run out, I, look, I think we're exhausted. Yeah, I think we're done today. Yeah, we're okay. We've yeah, done yeah. very well. Yep. Considering we're in a new... It's just, it's very foreign. It's, it's very strange. Yeah, it is. We should be wearing suits. Good, have to get used to this. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Or at least pants. Well, thank you, Tim, for coming. Not a problem. Good it's, to be here. It's been and thanks wonderful. to our producer, Dan, for letting us come here and... Yeah, providing these wonderful just facilities. That, way, that probably came across. Uh-huh. What'd you say? I was, I was just saying, thanks, Dan, for provi- providing the facilities. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using big words and I'm having trouble. Like providing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, uh, that's a wrap. Yeah, if uh, you're listening to this, uh, check out potatorevolution.com. Uh, we're also on Facebook, Facebook slash Potato Revolution, yeah. and you can like us there. And, and we're on Vimeo as well. Uh, we're on I- fuck you, uh, yeah. YouTube. Vimeo's yeah, we're awesome. on we're on Vimeo. We're on uh, iTunes as well. You can find us on iTunes. Yeah, yeah. And, um, well, I've got nothing else to say. On that note, tune in next week. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not true. It'll be next month. Yeah, but, yeah. Well, maybe. We'll see. All right. Well, thanks for listening, and come and see us at either Melbourne International Backpackers or... Um, or just, just in, in, the, in the street sometime. Yeah. Like, if you see us in the street, don't don't hit us. That's Hit Andy. Don't hit me. I'm, I'm fragile. Yeah. Yeah. No, hit you. No, nah, don't hit me. Hit him up. Don't hit, don't hit me up for money. No, you I haven't got any money. Yeah, I have any money. No, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> I've already checked your pockets today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Excellent. Excellent.